Good morning. Welcome, family, friends, esteemed faculty and staff to the White Coat Ceremony for the class of spring 2023. We are happy that you could join us virtually to witness this important milestone in their journey to becoming naturopathic physicians. Please note that today's ceremony is being recorded and will be available online on SCNM's various social media platforms. Additionally, you are invited to post your pictures of the day to hashtag SCNM White Coat 2023. We look forward to seeing all your unique celebrations. To provide insight into what this occasion means and the significance of this moment, I would like to introduce our president and CEO, Dr. Paul Mittman. During his career, Dr. Mittman practiced naturopathic medicine for 25 years, chaired the homeopathy department at SCNM, conducted research, was the first naturopathic physician published in a peer reviewed journal, and helped raise two children, a daughter Cascade and a son Arie, who was an alumni of our school. SCNM was the first naturopathic college to have a president who holds a Doctor of Naturopathic Medicine degree. Dr. Mittman also earned a Doctor of Higher Education Management from the University of Pennsylvania. We are fortunate to have a president dedicated to making SCNM America's healthiest college. Dr. Mittman is a competitive cyclist and follows a healthy diet. He practices what he preaches and believes wholeheartedly in the healing power of nature. Students, faculty, and guests, Dr. Paul Mittman. Good morning, SCNM class of 2023. First off, I'd like to welcome and thank your family and friends whose love and support is so important to your success and well-being. One day, during my fourth year of naturopathic medical school, some time ago, I looked at my classmates and thought, wow, these guys seem different. Though still medical students, my classmates appeared more like professional colleagues. We carried ourselves with new confidence. We spoke in the declarative clinical language of medicine to describe patients, conditions, and treatment plans. What began imperceptibly was obvious. We were becoming physicians. Our clinical training, caring for other human beings, catalyzed this change. It felt more than mere incremental growth. It was a transformation. In nature, matter can change state depending on the surrounding environment. For example, living organisms typically grow incrementally, but can also change states. For example, a tree grows taller with each passing year, but to go from pine cone to seedling isn't just growth. The combination of soil, water, and light unlock the potential within the seeds, resulting in a change of state. Same DNA, whether in the dormant seed or in the towering tree. We see equally striking changes of state in the animal kingdom. Picture the metamorphosis of a caterpillar becoming a butterfly. This change of state is not just growth and maturation, it's a complete transformation into what would appear to be a different being. Same DNA, whether in the crawling caterpillar or the fluttering butterfly. Today, you undergo a state change, the metamorphosis from student to clinician and route to becoming a physician. You unlock that potential degree by degree through study in classes and labs. The responsibility to help care for patients to heal the sick is however, profoundly different than studying in class. It builds on your acquired skills and knowledge, yet it requires you to think, act, and comport yourselves in a completely different manner. Correspondingly, the rewards intellectually, emotionally, and spiritually increase exponentially. As you walk this stage, you cross a threshold from which there is no turning back. The steps you take today are not incremental, they are transformation. This white coat ceremony also celebrates this metamorphosis. You've already experienced rites of passage that commemorate important moments in your life, and in less than two years, commencement will mark the next phase in your transformation to becoming a naturopathic physician. 
Your white code also conveys deeper meanings. It symbolizes the blank, unbiased canvas onto which your patients will write their stories, their histories. The white code helps you separate your sacred activities from the ordinary. When you change into it prior to seeing a patient, you step out of the ordinary whether it's the drive to the medical center, mundane conversations, etc., Use the act of donning this coat to pause, breathe, and reflect on the sanctity of the moment, your calling to help heal the sick. Whatever meaning you impart, I urge you to make the most of these next two years. Your intention, preparation, and follow-up will help shape your patient encounters and the depth of learning and understanding Approach this work with reverence. Congratulations to each of you for the hard work, dedication, and perseverance that helped you reach this milestone on your journey to becoming naturopathic physicians. On behalf of your teachers, attending physicians, and all of us who work at SCNM, we wish you success and learning in the next two years. Best wishes and God bless. It is my pleasure to introduce Patrick Sullivan Jr., CEO of Jigsaw Health, sponsor of the White Coat Ceremony. Jigsaw is a natural partner for this event, for not only do they produce quality uh, nutritional supplements, they're big supporters of naturopathic medicine, of Southwest College, and of Southwest College alumni. When Jigsaw conducted a study that ended up being uh, published in a peer-reviewed uh, nutrition journal, on the effects of time-release magnesium supplementation on cardiac risk factors, they turned to a naturopathic physician as the principal investigator. In fact, they chose an SNM alumnus, Dr. Decker Weiss, for that role. So please join me in welcoming Patrick Sullivan. There are six principles of naturopathic medicine, the second of which is vis medicatrix naturae, or the healing power of nature. My dad and I created Jigsaw Health because we believe very much in this philosophy. You see, my dad struggled off and on for 30 years with various chronic health challenges. Fatigue, anxiety, GI issues, many sleepless nights. He would say that he white knuckled it through life for many, many years. In the early 90s, he decided if there is an effect, then there must be a cause. And he began to read really every health book that he could get his hands on. He was on the hunt for tole causum, the third principle of naturopathic medicine, which means identify and treat the underlying causes. One of the more important pieces he discovered was that he was severely deficient in magnesium. Now, for those of you who don't know, magnesium is an essential mineral, an electrolyte actually. Uh, except for some reason, magnesium is never included in sports drinks like Gatorade or Powerade. Magnesium seems to be uh, the Rodney danger field of minerals. I just, I just can't get no respect. Well, Jigsaw Health has become known as the magnesium people and we make America's number one time release magnesium, Mag SRT. It's commonly cited that magnesium is involved in over 325 biochemical reactions in the body. But that number is from the 1950s and it was a best guess by Harvard medical professor, Dr. Burt Valley. More recently, magnesium researcher Morley Robbins, AKA Magnesium Man, has found based on new research, magnesium is involved in at least 3,751 biochemical reactions. Students, there will be a pop quiz for you uh, to name all of those reactions here in a moment. Thankfully, there's actually a simple way to know if you are likely magnesium deficient. Number one, do you get nighttime leg cramps? You see, muscle tension, especially leg cramps at night, is one of the first signs of magnesium deficiency. And that's because magnesium is mother nature's original chill pill. It's like a massage you can swallow. It's like yoga in a bottle. At Jigsaw Health, we say laughter is the best medicine, magnesium is a close second. Maya Angelou said, do the best you can until you know better. Then, when you know better, do better. Parents, family members, friends, 
take extra pride in the step that these students are taking today. They've discovered that naturopathic medicine is a better way. Students, it's time to put on those white coats and get ready for the good stuff, the stuff I'm sure you've been waiting to get to, the poking, the prodding, the stitching, the sewing. You can now begin to practice the fourth principle, tole totem, or in English, treating the whole person. This is a major step in your journey to become dasore, or doctor as teacher, the fifth principle. As CEO of Jigsaw Health, I'm incredibly honored to have you wear our tagline on your white coats. It's fun to feel good. When you say that to yourself, remember that Team Jigsaw is here to support you in any way that we can. Thank you, Dr. Mittman, for giving us this opportunity. Ladies and gentlemen, if you remember nothing else of what I've said here today, remember this. Laughter is the best medicine. Magnesium is a close second. Thank you so much. Congratulations, students. There are Thank you, Mr. Sullivan, for your insights and your humor. At this time, we'd like to take a moment to recognize the student leaders who have helped steer their class to this point in their journey and who have made this celebration possible today. Their hard work and altruistic drive provide a source of cohesion and camaraderie for their class. Please help me to recognize these leaders. Class President Sarah Licci. Class Vice President Michael Denora. Secretary Shruti Sharma. The class would also like to recognize the invaluable assistance of Raquel Welsh Perez, Manager of Student Advising and Engagement, for organizing this event. Thank you all for your hard work. The medical school journey is not an easy one. The path to becoming a doctor is vigorous and tiring. However, with them on this journey have been their faculty. These dedicated teachers have motivated, urged, challenged, and sometimes dragged these students through copious amounts of medical information and practices. However, Without these committed educators, this class would not be here today. In particular, the class would like to recognize one teacher who they feel summed up their basic medical sciences experience to date and represents an outstanding commitment to the students. Here to present the Foundational Sciences Award is Pedro Alcaraz Herrera. The class spring 2023, would like to award this exemplary faculty member. This professor constantly measures our performance throughout the first year, which to everyone's belief is the hardest year to acquire effective study skills. And he'll work really hard to give us good quality lectures and different learning styles. If a student needs help beyond that, Office hours are welcoming, either for a quick question or for study hall, and plenty of us needed that. And we feel that he's one of the strongest assets that SENM has to attract new students. The time and commitment that you place in our lectures are invaluable. And we hope that this token of our gratitude is a memento of how well you prepared us for clinic. The faculty award goes to Dr. John Schmidt. Congratulations. Congratulations, Dr. Schmidt. It is tradition of the white coat ceremony to gain insight into the experiences that have brought the class of spring 2023 to this point in their studies. As such, we have two speakers to help provide us with some understanding of their journey thus far. One from the perspective of the students and one from the faculty. Our first speaker today is Mel Mort. While there are many who could speak on behalf of this cohort, 
they thought that out of all the qualified candidates, Mel represented them the best. In their words, Mel is an example of balance, empathy, and resilience to her classmates, especially during these past two years in the program. Moreover, Mel represents all the skills that her class feels are the hallmarks of the naturopathic doctors they hope to one day be, determined, assured, and knowledgeable. Here to share the class of spring 2023's journey thus far, Ms. Mel Mort. Welcome class of spring 2023 to your white coat ceremony. Can you believe we're here? It feels like we just showed up in room 150 for orientation, looking way more bright eyed and energized than we do now. Back when the thought of being in clinic and putting on that white coat felt so far away, a goal we felt we would never reach, but a guiding light to work toward. While getting through those grueling long lectures, labs and nerve wracking practicals, checking them off quarter after quarter, what we didn't know then was that behind every white coat earned was hours of studying, sitting at your desk, spending your weekends in the cadaver lab or cramming for a gen med exam, missing out on life events, weddings, parties, family time, as we delve deeper into medicine with anatomy, physiology, biochem, pathology, understanding the intricacies of the body and then unraveling its various states of disease. Slowly ticking off and bravely facing each milestone from CPE to capstone to CE, back to capstone and to MPLEX. The sacrifice and the discipline that was required to keep going, how we would be tested in not only the classroom, but in our ability to persevere day after day. And with all that, as we take a moment to pause and celebrate this journey with the anticipation of more work to come, I want to honor that while medical school has never been touted as easy, it has and will always be challenging. It has been made more challenging by the events of the last two years. A global pandemic. I definitely didn't have that on my med school bingo card. I don't know about you, but this not so little virus forced the entire world upside down, requiring everyone to adapt in a moment's notice. Classrooms replaced by Zoom rooms, parking lot walk and talks turned into emails and Slack threads, toilet paper shortages, lockdowns, hand sanitizer, masking up, this all became the new normal. A time where stability felt hard to come by as the world was figuratively and at times literally on fire. The murder of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor to a charged election Asian and Jewish hate crimes, a climate in crisis, and the threat of variants continues. It's been a heavy time, a heavy time on what was already a full load. All of that, and yet still, you are here about to put on your white coat. Against all odds, you protected the light inside you and decided that this was worth it, that your drive and commitment to being a naturopathic doctor was worth it in spite of it all, because of it all. And that takes grit, it takes resiliency. And while it might have felt like you crawled over this finish line, you have still arrived. This wasn't what any of us would have chosen. These obstacles we faced throughout the program, both presidented and unprecedented, but I have no doubt that these challenges have softened our hearts and they've sharpened our will and will make us better naturopathic doctors in the end. I think during this pause of celebration, we need to honor this duality, to feel gratitude that we get to learn this medicine and grief that it hasn't played out the way we anticipated, to feel a loss over the in-person experience and appreciation for the safety of our community, to feel like maybe watching class in your pajamas wasn't that bad, but then also a sense of urgency to develop and refine those practical skills. To acknowledge the two years of hard we faced and to really feel pride in that and look with excitement and maybe unease as you get ready to roll up your sleeves again for all that's still ahead in clinic. 
I want to take a moment and recognize the support team that got you here. To the family, friends, partners, mentors, the pets who lifted you when you wanted to give up. A special thank you, especially to our teachers who pivoted like none other, continuing to educate without missing a beat. The SCNM administration for continuing to lead and supporting us in achieving excellence. And to my peers, this incredible cohort for always giving generously and offering a hand or a meme when needed. I know you may feel weary. The burnout from the past two years feels heavy. As this is yet another time you're being asked to dig deeper and step outside your comfort zone to learn something new. Growth often requires us to be uncomfortable. But I want you to remember as we get ready to straddle this line of student and doctor, what led you to this path? The enthusiasm you had to do medicine different, to do it better. The hope you held to reach the patients who had been overlooked so that they can finally feel seen and heard. The yearning you felt to help lead the revolution of the healing power of nature. And the butterflies that were there day one of orientation when you felt ready to take on the world. If the past 18 months of this pandemic has taught us anything, it's that without our health, we don't have much. And what an honor and how worth it it will be to be doctors helping educate and empower our patients to embrace and nurture their own healing. Finally, you have reached the time to put what you've been learning in action, to learn from the incredible attendings and residents who paved the way, to practice collaboration and integration, exploring new modalities of healing. This is what you've been working towards and it's a milestone you have earned. I hope you truly delight and celebrate that today as you take another step closer to doctor. My wish for you as we enter clinic is this. May you enter clinic with humility and openness for all that is still left to learn. May you stay curious in your pursuit for the root cause and the capacity for the body to heal. May you continue to work hard and stay aligned with your values. May you remember you are deserving of rest and healing too. And most importantly, may you never forget how supported and loved you are. I'm rooting for you. Congratulations on this achievement, my friends. Thank you, Mel. Now for the faculty's perspective. Dr. Jeff Lee Langlin is the chair of the Department of Research and the director for the Rick Scalzo Institute for Botanical Research. Dr. Langlin received his doctorate in virology from Arizona State University in 1990, focusing on the investigation and understanding of the complex cellular defenses and immune responses against microorganisms. After graduating from ASU, he was a postdoctorate fellow at the University of California, Davis, followed by a second doctoral fellowship at the University of Wyoming, comparing the similarities between plant and human defenses against viruses. The class asked Dr. Langlin to speak at their ceremony today because of his passion for the field of naturopathic medicine and inspiration for the future. Dr. Langlin has been a tireless champion for naturopathic medicine's ability to cure diseases and ailments. Each year, his research department uncovers groundbreaking, groundbreaking discoveries that show the world that nature has the answer for those unafraid to discover her wonders. Students, faculty, and guests, Dr. Jeffrey Langlin. Hello, class of spring 2023, and congratulations on making it to your white coat ceremony. First off, thank you for selecting me to be your faculty representative at this important and joyous milestone in your academic career. We have all endured a difficult period in our lives over the past year. With the COVID-19 pandemic, inequality and racism that seems to be frauding our community, and political divisions in our society. From this, I believe this is the perfect time for this white coat ceremony. When the world is filled with despair, 
conflict and seemingly hopeless future, this ceremony represents you moving forward toward completion of your dreams and a future with hope. This is your time to celebrate and be proud of your accomplishments. I asked many of you, what has kept you motivated during this time over the past couple of years? Many of your answers revolved around family and friends and your faith. But there's also this idea that you will be making a difference in our society after you graduate, that you will be able to assist people in their healing journey, that you'll be able to provide patients with alternatives to standard health care that is often fraught with impersonal care or treatments with debilitating side effects, or that you'll be able to influence the lives and health of young children. The White Coat Ceremony represents a transition of your educational experience here at SCNM. But what does this white coat represent? Well, let's first off break it down by its color. White represents simplicity, goodness, safety, and perfection. This is how your patients will often see you, helping them with complex answers to their problems, protecting them from harm, and providing them with the expertise that you'll gain as a naturopathic doctor. Now, technically white is not an individual color, but rather all the colors of the rainbow combined. Red is considered to be a color of intense emotions. It is bold, energetic, and symbolizes strength, confidence, and power. Your patients will seek advice from you relying on your confidence and knowledge. Orange communicates activity, energy, and encouragement. You will need to be there for your patients, encouraging them through their healing journey. Yellow communicates cheerfulness, friendliness, joy, and energy. It can also be associated with mental clarity and intellect. You are all passionate about your future, and this shows in your happiness. Keep this alive deep within your soul. Green represents plant life and growth, and is consequently used to convey sustainability, organic, and a natural sense of the world. As a future natu naturopathic doctor, green is your foundational being. Blue conveys reliability, trustworthiness, and communication. It is also appreciated for its calming and harmonious qualities being associated with the sea and the sky. Again, this represents your interactions with your patients as well as your own self well being. Together, these colors represent who you are and how your patients will see you. Wear your coat proudly and remember the superpowers it provides. I also asked many of you what has been your favorite experience here at SCM. Most of you expressed it was being able to meet like minded people. The friends, faculty, and staff you meet here at SCM are now part of your family. Please, I ask you to never forget this. The strength in a tribe is based on the, not as an individual, but based on the community. As members of your new family, we'll always be here for you, providing advice and assistance as needed. You are the future of naturopathic medicine. You all have the ability, drive, and ambition to become great doctors and make a difference in people's lives and well being. Good luck as you enter into the clinic, and remember to come visit us in the didactic faculty including myself, now and then. Thank you and congratulations again. Thank you, Dr. Langland. Now for the moment you've all been patiently waiting for, the presentation of the white coats. I ask all of today's white coat recipients to please grab your coats and be prepared to turn on your cameras when asked. We'll be showing your picture first before we go live to your location. So please be ready for your moment. Reading the names of today's recipients will be learning specialist, Jill K. Drown. Jill holds a bachelor's degree in psychology and a master's degree in education with specialization in curriculum and instruction. She utilizes her 18 years of education experience to support SCNM students with academic success strategies and a robust peer tutoring program. The class asked Jill to read their names because as SCNM's resident mindfulness coach, Jill's pre-exam meditations are responsible for not only calming students for maximum academic performance, but also for helping students strive for sane and productive balance while undertaking a rigorous medical education, even in the midst of a global pandemic. Without any further delay, today's White Coat recipients. Karina Ademi.
Pedro Alcaraz Perea. Participating in absentia, Shane Armbrister. Neha Bhatt. Julia Chahutsky. Daniel Conway. Michael Denora. Samantha Dulac. Alessandra Dudo. Participating in absentia, Christiana Engelhart. Participating in absentia, Matthew Germsheed. Isabel Grant. Melanie Gray. Kaylee Harrison. Kelsey Hawkins. Riley Holyoke. Hannah Jabour. Marissa Castamere. Samantha Camo. Amber Kilwine. Sarah Litchie. Candace Lynch. Thomas Mamano. Wakiria Marte. Bridget Mason.
Shakira Mayweather. Danielle Melvin. Mel Mort. Levia Wynn. Hitomi Otagiri. Megan Ross. Participating in absentia, Shruti Sharma. Jessica Springetti. Emma Stacy. Deidre Sacco. Participating in absentia, Jizao Trabulci. Shada Vadapur. Ariana Ventrella. Participating in absentia, Ricky Waddell. Paige Worthy. I ask you now to put on your headphones with microphone as to avoid audio feedback and open your programs. Guests, if you do not see your particular student in the gallery view, please advance to the next page. While the students prepare to take the oath, please let me introduce adjunct professor of physical medicine and a physician in our medical center, Dr. Sean Kennedy, who will be administering the white coat oath. After graduating from SCM in 2016, Dr. Kennedy completed a year of residency in family practice, followed by an additional two years in homeopathic residency. The class asked Dr. Kennedy to lead them in the oath today because they feel he embodies the very concept of educator. They enjoy his teaching style as he always keeps the class interesting and the students engaged. He's also quick with a joke to make them laugh. Furthermore, he stands as an example of what these doctors wish to become, respected, trusted, and passionate about naturopathic medicine. Please welcome Dr. Sean Kennedy to lead you in the clinical oath. All right, everyone. Thanks, Dean Donnelly. So if you would please repeat after me. I state your name. As a student of the Southwest College of Naturopathic Medicine, we will enter the clinical portion of my educational training. We will enter the clinical portion of my educational training with an open mind and eager spirit. With an open mind and eager spirit, will incorporate the information that I have learned in the classroom. 
I will, I will incorporate, incorporate information that I have learned in our classroom with the knowledge that is now being passed on to me. With the knowledge that is now being passed on to me. And my clinical supervisors. And my, my clinical supervisors. As a student clinician, I will parallel my therapeutic approach. As a student, student, student clinician, clinician, I will parallel my therapeutic, therapeutic approach. approach. To the basic principles of naturopathic medicine. To the basic principles of naturopathic medicine. First, do no harm. First, First, do no harm. 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 The healing power of nature. The healing, the healing power, power of nature. nature. Identify and treat the cause. Identify, Identify and, treat treat the cause. and treat the cause. Treat the whole person. Treat the whole person. Treat the whole person. person. Position as teacher. Position, Position as, as teacher. 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 And prevention is the best cure. I will treat each patient individually. I will treat each patient individually. I will look for the cause and treat the whole person. I will look for the cause and treat the whole person. Each time I wear my white coat. Each time I wear my white coat. Wear my white coat. I will do so with honor for those that trust me. I will do so with honor for all the trust that trust, 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 trust me. With an open mind for those that are educating me. And with an open, open mind for those that are edu educating me. me. And with respect and responsibility. And with respect, respect and responsibility. responsibility. And responsibility. Mm -hmm. For those that have paved the way before me in this profession. Congratulations, class of spring 2023. <laughs> 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 Congratulations to all of today's White Coat recipients. Welcome to the next phase in your journey. Thank you everyone for sharing this important milestone with us today. This concludes our ceremony. We look forward to seeing you all at their next big milestone at graduation. Have a wonderful day. <laughs>